as you can see the tape gets the very last little bit We've got a pretty good concentration and the concentration seems to be about even a smoke. So just that one little fan is enough to keep the uh, vapors moving around. Um, you can see uh, I've got a two gallon glass jar, two gallon glass jar, piece of wood in between with the RTV silicone sealant uh, used to seal up the edges. Um, and then of course I got a hole drilled hill so my wires for the uh, electronics can go through. Let's see. Let's take a look at the inside. Okay, let's open this sucker up. I need two hands for that, don't I? So, <clears throat> I basically just like permanently attached one jar to the piece of wood uh, with the RTV silicone with no intention of pulling it off. And then it came in with a little bit more to seal at the bottom. Um, then I put another layer down on top here and let it dry for about an hour or so um, and once it was partially cured at least on top I sprayed the jar down with some uh, I should have used Teflon spray but I didn't have any I used white lithium I uh, sprayed it all around the brim and then put it in place and then the next day I was able to pry it off it was it was stuck on there but it came off and uh, although this is not the best silicone seal I've ever made As a matter of fact it's probably the worst it does seem to work so maybe we'll do a little bit better and use some actual RTV silicone sealant or RTV silicone um, the kind used for molds instead of the kind used for a gasket here I think uh, it'll work a little bit better anyway I'm already working on this is the mark 3 the third model I'm already look, working on the uh, fourth model now we'll see how that goes that's for in case you want to do something small, I guess. Anyway, keep in touch.